I was initially reluctant to share. I can't exactly tell you why I thought this way, but after a year of owning my Omega Seamaster, it's definitely time, and after all the adventures too, I should definitely make a video on it. A year on the wrist. So if you like this video, you know what to do. And subscribe to. Yeah, I wear this watch a lot. Not only do I wear it every day, but as you also saw in the cut, I've worn it in these places. London, going to see No Time To Die. My walk to work, Paris, Barcelona. Sick at home with COVID, Albacete. Portugal, Glenlow Abbey, Albacete again. Back to London and Sardinia. To start, why this watch? I wanted to get an Omega that represented the Bond films and that Craig era, which affected me so much. In particular, the films that really stood out to me, Casino Royale and Skyfall. When it came down to it, I was between the Diver 300 and the Planet Ocean. On paper, the Diver made more sense. It's more versatile, looks like a day-to-day -day watch, can kind of easily move between formal and casual, but the Planet Ocean really spoke to me, and this one in particular. The Skyfall Planet Ocean. I really like the Planet Oceans. The new blue ones are really slick. Craig's James Bond wore the Planet Ocean for his first three films. The Skyfall one I particularly love. Although this is described as black, it's more grey than anything else. The Planet Ocean gets great usage in the opening of Skyfall, heavily promoted during the movie's campaign, even got a close-up shot. And this really suits Craig's type of James Bond. So it was settled, I went for the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. To be specific, this one. Reference 232-3046-2101-001. So this actually isn't the Skyfall version. This one is slightly larger than the Skyfall Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. But for casual wear, I like a larger watch. The Skyfall one is 42 millimeters but this one is 45.5, so a slightly larger diameter. Although when I was sort of mulling over and going whether I should get the actual Skyfall model, I kind of pragmatically thought the Skyfall model is the Skyfall model because they made a special titanium version that they never mass produced. So some collector out there has the titanium Skyfall Planet Ocean that they only made and Craig wore for the opening in Istanbul. Pretty cool. The rest of the watches in the run were stainless steel. Let's just take this from the start. This is the box. And Omega are probably famous for these red boxes that they deliver their product in. Comes with papers, obviously. Cosk certified warranties. That's my own receipt from when I purchased it. And the instructions. Omega make their papers very Simple and easy and transferable, I suppose. Here's the warranty, the reference number, date that was first purchased. Then you have your warranty card. And then you have your details here. It's COSC certified. Automatic movement. For your warranty. And then the service card as well from when it was last serviced in 2021. Very clean, very easy, and obviously stores just right in the box. Here it is, the Omega. I suppose what I should do is take it out of the box, 
and show you all the things I love about it. Very easy clasp to work. The reason I picked this watch is because of the dial on it. It's more of a grey colour than an actual black like the other colours. That bezel is just something else. And obviously the function of the bezel is for diving. Very bond, so you just click it in, there's your time, and then you know how long you've been under for. My OCD viewers will go nuts if I don't fix this, so. If you look closely, you can see the date window on the right hand side, say in the first. It is the usual things that you'd identify with an Omega diver. If you're a very serious diver, you'd use the helium escape valve. The reason for this is when you're in a pressurized tank and you're depressurizing, the glass crystal can shoot right off. So that lets it escape and then you screw it back down. It's a screw down crown here as well with the Omega logo. And what I really find handy about this is when you're traveling, you unscrew once and the hour hand jumps around. This is extremely handy for when you're on a plane, jumping through time zones, just click it through. And obviously, if the date changes very quickly, you can jump forward to the next day. So, and you just screw it back down. And I love these broad arrow hands. They're really nice, look at that. The detail of the orange for the Seamaster and the seconds hand, really good. It's stainless steel on a steel bracelet. I will complain slightly. It's just, this is very easy to scratch because it's polished rather than brushed. I wear this all the time, as you know, so it's just easy to pick up scratches. Now saying that, this isn't replaceable, this is, so that's okay. As you can read there, 600 meters and 2,000 feet. And as my friend Mick asked me, how deep is that? And I said, deep enough to save the world. The size is really great. And just to show you, like, I think this is really the personal touch that makes this lovely because it's something only you see or your friends see when you show it to them. The movement inside. Isn't getting to look, that movement's just amazing. And I think what most people are interested in is the size. I like how this wears on my wrist, although it's one of the larger Planet Oceans. Just sits perfectly there. And that's how it looks on my wrist. I will also say the loom is great. I took these shots a while back. It has a blue loom and green for the minute's hand, which makes it easy to read at a quick glance late at night or in the ocean depths. Also, being a diving watch, it has this extending feature for going over wetsuits. It just cleanly clicks back in. Now, the newer models, I believe, or the 300 Classic Edition remake has a kind of slick extension which is a bit more accurate than that one. I really love how it fits and looks on the wrist. It's nice, the color just being off black as well. And those were the Skyfall Omega details, or my Omega's details. What do I think of the whole package? What is my Omega experience? It is funny, I was out one night with some friends and we were talking We'd not seen a while and we caught up. One of my friends noticed my watch. Just to note, I'm kind of part of that generation where people say they're more interested in experiences than material things, or at least that's what the media says in social media. I'm not too sure. It doesn't seem to be a binary choice between both. Also, you see a lot of influencers flogging Louis bags, so it might not be the case either. But it is definitely something you hear repeated in groups and in the media. What I did notice in the group was everyone had an interest in the watch and potentially buying a watch themselves in the future. There was a remark that it wasn't a cheap purchase and I have to admit that is true but I never once regretted it because it's an everyday watch for me. I love wearing it. 
It gives me that Bond feeling, an unquantifiable bit of extra. And for fear of sounding pretentious, wearing it is an experience. Thanks for watching. Feel like I went out in a limb on this video. Let me know what you think. Comment, subscribe, shoot the like button.